November 1st, 1998, Muhammad Atta and Hamburg cell members Saeed Bahaji and Ramzi bin Alshib move into a four bedroom apartment at 54 Marion Straub in Hamburg, Germany, and stay there until February of 2001. Atta is already living primarily in the United States well before his time. Investigators believe this move marks the formation of the Hamburg Al Qaeda cell. Up to six men at a time live at the apartment, including other Al Qaeda agents such as Marwan al Shahi and Zachariah Esabar. During the 28 months, Atta's name is on the apartment lease. 29 Middle Eastern or North African men register at the apartment as their home address. From the very beginning, the apartment was officially under surveillance by German intelligence, the LFV, because of investigations into businessmen, Marmoon Darkenzali, and his connections to Saeed Bahaji. German intelligence services also suspect connections between Bahaji and Syrian al-Qaeda operative Mohammed Haidar Zamar. German intelligence monitors the apartment off and on for months and wiretaps Munir el Muntasek and an associate of the apartment who is later put on trial for assisting allegedly the 9-11 plot, but apparently do not find any indication of suspected activity. Bahaji is directly monitored at least for part of 1998, but German officials have not disclosed when the probe began or ended. That investigation is dropped for lack of evidence. According to the Associated Press on June 22, 2002, investigations would have found evidence if they looked more thoroughly. For instance, Mohammed Haidar Zamar, a talkative individual who has trouble keeping secrets, is a frequent visitor to the many late night meetings at the apartment. Another visitor would later recall that Muhammad Atta and others discussing attacking the United States. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is in Hamburg several times during the year 1999 and comes to the apartment. However, although there is a $2 million reward for Mohammed since 1998, the United States apparently fails to tell Germany what it knows about him. Waleed El Shetty also apparently stays at this apartment at times. And according to the Washington Post of September 14, 2001, the CIA had started monitoring Mohammed Atta while he was living at this apartment in 1998 and does not tell Germany of the surveillance. They also, in turn, tried to recruit Mohammed Adar Zamar and Marmoon Dar Ghazali as informants but it is not clear whether they accepted or rejected. Remarkably, the German government will claim it knew little about the Hamburg Al-Qaeda cell before 9-11 and nothing directed them towards the Marion Straub apartment. In fact, Marwan al the alleged hijacker, pilot hijacker of United Airlines Flight 175, moved to Bonn, Germany in 1996 and studied German there he lived in the Hamburg apartment for several months and then returned to Bonn after failing a language exam. Just as he leaves town, a Pakistani student named Atif bin Mansu arrives in Hamburg and begins living and studying with Muhammad Atta. Earlier in 1999, Mansur applies with Atta for a room to hold a new Islamic studies group. Mansur is a pilot on leave from Pakistani Air Force Base, according to the Los Angeles Times. 